Hey everybody, Chase here. I uh, just thought I'd show you where I'm going to build, where I think I'm going to build my log house. It's going to be right here in this group of trees. Um, let me set the tripod down. Be a little bit more stable for y'all. There's one corner stake right there. That's one of the back ones. And then right there's the front one in between those two trees. And then the other. Front one is right there. So it's going to sit back a little bit and behind these trees. Um, mostly it would be right in behind this tree right here. Big old hickory. Um, but let's see. Pretty much right here in this open flat area. Now we will have to take out some of these little trees here and that tree right there because it's leaning towards the house. And then. Some of these trees right here I have to go too. But right here, we are right here, there's a corner right there. Hope it don't make anybody dizzy. And there's a corner right there. So we're right now on the front porch. Now the front porch view isn't too good, but it isn't that bad either. Um, just got like a little wood lot here. But right there is the road, and right across the road is the neighbor's house and his barn. Um, but, you know, it's just part of, you know, unless you buy 500 or 1,000 acres, that's just going to be part of it, the building. Um, there was a place on the back part of the farm where you couldn't see much of anything, but um, it was going to cost way too much to put in a road, and then even if we did put in a road, it was doubtful that we could even get the logs back there. Um, but this will be nice. You know, back in here, we'll clean this wood lot up some more. Um, and down there, then right across the way, there's another, is one of our fields. Um, and basically, we're going to set this up over here to where it's like a little homestead. Um, it'll be part of the, uh, see my other blog, uh, Heritage Homestead Project, where we'll be trying to do as much as traditional as possible. Um, be going on up here. Right here is where we'll have the house. And then maybe somewhere over there, put in a, uh, log bank barn with maybe a uh, shop attached to it, a blacksmith shop and or woodworking shop. But, um, you know, it's kind of a nice setting back here in these trees. Right now we have it fenced out with electric wire um, for the livestock so they can't get in here. But the next step is going to be cutting down all these little trees and trees that are leading towards the cabin site. One tree I'm not looking forward to taking down is that one because the top is broken off. So, but you know, it's right, you know, the road's just right there, but here's the thing. I want to show you all oh, across this electric wire. And no, uh, unlike my other video <clears throat> with me getting shocked in the wire, that fence is not electrically charged or else you wouldn't have seen me touch it. I've had enough. Uh, I've had enough of that electric fence. <laughs> Let's see, go on up here. This is the county road right here. So you can see the property kind of goes down that hill. It's more kind of a wooded pasture area. But the road is very, very small, and just down there, it dead ends, which is where our house is. So, and also where the blacksmith shop is. So, you know, it'll be a very short, uh, I guess you call it a commute to work. <laughs> um, you know, just right, right there's a blacksmith shop. Way down there. 
I don't know it looks pretty far on camera, but it isn't that far. Maybe two tenths of a mile if you walk along the road. <laughs> it looks like trouble came to see what was going on. But back there in that corner is basically where it's going to sit. So it's a pretty nice setting, but I am kind of looking at another site back in that back field over there but there are no trees and with trees and when you don't have electricity for air conditioning it means your house is going to be really 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 hot in the summertime and uh, well, when you blacksmith and you're around heat excessive heat all day the last thing you want to do is go into a house that's like an oven so this way you have plenty of shade trees uh, that way is due south so as you can see there's plenty of trees to block the sun and right there in that corner there's enough sun I think that I can put in a few uh, later on if I wanted to some solar panels I don't know it's not really traditional and stuff but um, personally I'm not all too crazy about having kerosene lamps and if you have kerosene lamps and that troublemaker in the house uh, that could result in a very bad house fire. That cat is nothing but trouble, and that's her name is Trouble. Well, I name that either name that cat right, or I word cursed her one. <laughs> but anyways, um, what I was gonna saying was, uh, you know, with the solar panels, I can use that to power just a few LED lights around the house, or. Uh, just recharge some batteries for some double uh, you know batteries for uh, those LED lanterns and bring them in at night and also I think that there's enough wind up here to have a uh, wind generator I'm no expert on wind generators whatsoever but I feel that you know I haven't been up here yet when there wasn't a small breeze blowing and there's a little breeze blowing right now um, and I don't really know that much about uh, wind generators I know enough about solar panels that I can build my own but wind generators is a different uh, story so that would probably be a good project after I get the house built um, but at first everything is just going to be very traditional um, probably like main light source probably be candles and maybe some LED lanterns um, I'll keep my food cold with uh, an ice box and I'll freeze uh, what I'll do for ice is uh, freeze one gallon milk jugs and two liter bottles down at the uh, blacksmith shop freezer and then when these up here at the house melt then I'll bring them back uh, take them back down to the blacksmith shop and then bring up two other just kind of rotate them around um, but the one bad thing about building it up here versus where I originally was going to build it is there isn't a water source. I know back there I had the spring and I had the video where I started uh, building a spring house. And I've done a lot of work on it, but that's if you walked by the trails from here, that's about a mile walk. So um, I don't think they've made a, a pump that I could afford or that didn't use electricity to pump water a mile. I'm definitely not going to walk a mile uh, back there. So the Springhouse project is over. I'm going to be deleting that video. Or um, I can make, if y'all want, uh, leave comments, let me know. And I'll discuss how spring houses are built and how springs are developed. I can do that. Um, just leave a comment. Let me know if y'all want me to discuss uh, springs and spring houses. But anyways, I just thought I'd show you the house site um, I'm, uh, I'm really excited about it see how it turns out we've got like I said we got clear we got to clear that out and then we've got to put in um, a cat quit bumping into the tripod um, told you she was trouble uh, then we got to put in foundation then I don't know if I told you but the log home kit that I bought is a model home so I've got to tear it down move it and then build it back so um, 
that'll be a project in itself. And the one thing I am not looking forward to this cabin site, or cabin, is it has a 12-12 pitch on it. And I am, I hate to say I'm afraid of heights, because I love rappelling and that kind of stuff, but I hate roofs and ladders. So, oh, here, I think the horses are, yeah. Horses are coming down, but, um, now, 12 12 pitch. I think I right, this will just prove I'm not a carpenter. It's either a 45 or 90 degree angle. I cannot for the life of me remember. Uh, it's all I know is it's steep. Um, but, anyways, well, I better get down to work. It's back to the blacksmith shop. It is now 8. 50 is basically nine o'clock so I've got a lot of welding to do finish up that fire pot and work on that uh, uh, what do you call it uh, traditional 18th century cookware set finish that up so we will see y'all later.